Hello, welcome to the final video of our percentages video series for now. This is video 4. We're using percentages in this video to compare different quantities. Now when we use percentages to compare quantities, these are our steps. We want to make fractions out of the quantities we're given. We want to turn those fractions into percentages and we want to then just compare the percentage sizes at the end. Now here's our problem. We want to find out which is bigger. A situation where there's 12 days out of 3 weeks or we want to use percentages to compare whether 48 seconds out of 2 minutes is bigger. So quite a few different uh, quantities there and you see we started out in the question with days and weeks and seconds and minutes there's different units floating around all over the place so our first step is to make some of the units talk to each other so instead of 12 days out of three weeks it would be best for us to say 12 days out of 21 days because with each week having seven days three weeks will have 21 days just makes it easier for those to be talking the same units and over on the right hand side here instead of 48 seconds out of two minutes we're going to say okay each minute has 60 seconds in it so we're going to turn that into uh, 48 seconds out of 120 seconds just so that's a little simpler too now once they've got the same units there our next step is to make fractions out of our information here so 12 days out of 21 days, it's a bit like getting 12 marks out of 21 marks in a test. We can make a fraction out of that. So we have 12 days on top over 21 days. So we'll make a fraction 12 over 21 there. We can do a similar thing with the right-hand side quantities there. 48 seconds out of 120 seconds. So we've formed a couple of fractions here. It's a bit hard to compare which is bigger when we've got uh, different fractions with different bottoms. So we're going to go ahead now and compare by making percentages out of each of those fractions. And then we can compare uh, using those percentages. So we saw in a previous video that uh, to turn a fraction into a percentage, we multiply by 100. So we'll take that 12 over 21 on the left hand side, multiply it by 100 and on our calculator that would give us uh, just over 57 percent. So we took the fraction, we multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percent. We'll do that same thing with the quantities on the right hand side here. We'll times by 100 and we'll get an answer of 40 percent there. Our last step, once we've turned both of these uh, situations into percentages, we'll just compare those percentages because we were originally asked which one, which situation is bigger. So we'll compare that 57% with that 40% and I think it's clear. We can make a clear decision here that the uh, first situation is bigger. The 12 days out of three weeks turned out to be bigger than 48 seconds out of two minutes. So what did we do to recap? We made the same units out of each side there. This one we turned weeks into days and this side we turned minutes into seconds so we had a bit, uh, bit more chance at comparing the same things. We turned each of those into fractions and then we turned each of those fractions into percentages. Then, right at the end, we were able to compare and see which one was bigger. So we've used percentages to help us compare the different sizes of quantities there. Let's recap. We make the fractions out of the quantities, and it did help that we used the same units in each of the sides there. We turned those fractions into percentages and then at the end we just compared the percentages to uh, f find a f uh, our solution. So I hope that, hel hope that helps and at any stage uh, you're able to on YouTube um, have a look at these videos over and over to refresh your memory. I hope they've helped uh, with your studies and, uh, and I, I wish you all the best for your future studies. See you later.